I'm gonna unbox review this new Wi-Fi 7 router by TP-Link. This is the Archer BE6500. I will be doing my full-on speed test ratios using my following Wi-Fi 7 devices. I happen to have the iPhone 16 Pro Max, which is another Wi-Fi 7 device, but it can't go as fast as these two. So I like to test with the faster Wi-Fi 7 devices. So we got some info right here with a quick start guide right here. Gives you some information and stuff. It comes with the Cat 6A Ethernet cable, which might be a first that I've seen. Typically it's Cat 5E or Cat 6. So this thing's awesome because typically it has better shielding. Granted at these lengths, it's not too much of a difference. And the power supply is compatible with 100 to 240 volts at 30 watts of power. Comes with six antennas. This is the movement for the antennas. So from here all the way to here, 180 degrees from there basically. Uh, it doesn't go back, but it can come front and all the way. And the same is true for the ones in the back and on the ones on the side, it's pretty much the same where it's 180 from here to here. And then it can also come front or stay like this. And the reason for that is you can also wall mount this as well, which I'll show you guys the back in a second. So a bunch of vents, which is great for airflow. We got some LEDs in the front. There's nothing in the front right here on the side. There's nothing. We have a USB 3.0 on this side. And before we go get to the ports on the back, I want to show you guys the back. So a bunch of vents on the bottom and we have the screws right here and one on this side as well. So, and we have the rubber feet and I'm hiding some info right there. Okay, so now let's look at, let me move these up so it's a little easier to see. So we got a WPS button, we have LED Wi-Fi on and off, reset, 2.5 gig internet, 2.5 gig LAN, so there is no last at up to 2.5 gig speeds. The rest are gigabit ports, we have power, we have power on and off. I had a chance to play with this thing, I set it up as my main router, no chops, nothing like that, nothing abnormal, and I basically got a chance to do all my speed test ranges of all those numbers right here, and there were no drops, nothing like that, nothing out of the ordinary. So we'll start off with the internet speed test. As you guys already know, when you're accessing the internet, you are limited by your internet speeds. For me, that would be five gigs up and down. However, this router can't go quite as fast. So the router is actually my limitation because it's capping my speeds to 2.5. So my internet comes in at in the blue port right here and <clears throat> it comes in at five, but it gets capped to 2.5 immediately. But the good thing about this router is it has a second 2.5 gigabit port. So coming out of this port, I'm no longer losing those speeds anymore. So when I do a speed test on my computer via ethernet, I actually do get just under those 2.5 gigabit speeds. Now the Wi-Fi devices are a different story and with this one I actually got 1830 down and 1677 up. So not quite as fast as ethernet, but still doing fairly well overall. And all my Wi-Fi testing was connected on the MLO multi-link operation network, which I'll show you guys in a bit on the Tether app. Now to find the true performance of this router, I need to do a local speed test server. So I make my computer into the server and I go from Wi-Fi device to router to computer. And this isolates the router because it's handling all the Wi-Fi signals. So I'm no longer going to the public speed test server, which can be busy at times. I'm also not relying on my ISP, my internet service provider. So we're pretty much taking those out of the equation and we're focusing on the router and naturally there is a boost in speeds both for the download and the upload speeds. Next we jump into range tests and range will vary drastically by location. Essentially the more obstructions you have typically the less range you're going to get. The more of an open area you're in typically the more range you're going to get. So if you have a lot of thick walls or a lot of walls if you're in between floors all of this stuff can essentially decline your range basically. So in my place, I'm more of an open area. So we'll start off with the 20 feet mark and we did get a drop both in the download and upload, but still doing very, very good overall. At 50 feet, this is when I'm outside my place, still getting some really good numbers. However, we are starting to see big drops, especially in the upload section. And at 100 feet, a definitely a much bigger drop, but this is literally me being across the street, still getting some very usable numbers overall. For setup and configuration, use the Tether app. It's available both on iOS and on Android, and it's a very simplified app. It's very clean and soft, and it walks you through the process of setting this thing up, and then it asks you to pick an SSID, which is your Wi-Fi name, and a password. Now, if you want, you can pick your existing router's info, the one you're replacing, and place it on this one, and your devices should automatically connect to this one. And then once it's set up, it pretty much gives you, it's a very nice and clean app. It tells you if you're connected to the internet or if there's issues, it shows you what devices that are connected. It gives you some reports if you want that. 
And then there's some scans that it does to look for issues or potential issues. And then it does have some parental controls included in the price. So you can block some websites if you wanted to. You can do some basic filtering for content. You can set some basic times. And the reason I say basic times is because if you wanna fully customize the time, that does require a separate subscription. And then in that subscription, you do get more parental control features like app time limits and other things. They're just more of an advanced parental control. Now, the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, there's a smart option that it combines it into one. However, if you want, you can separate those if you wanted to. You can, so you can make a separate 2.4 gigahertz and a separate 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi name or an SSID. And then you can make an MLO, a multi-link operation Wi-Fi name, and that's when all the bands, well, the 2.4 and the 5, connect together and that's really more for Wi-Fi 7 devices that can take advantage of MLO where it, it actually connects to both bands at the same time to get even better speeds. In fact, these speeds were tested while it was connected to the MLO band with the Wi-Fi 7 device, devices I should say. Aside from that, you can make a guest network and then you can even make an Internet of Things network as well. So if you wanted your IoT devices, which are basically smart home devices like smart light switches, smart plugs, security cameras, things of that nature, you can actually make an IoT network dedicated to the 2.4 gigahertz band. So those devices just connect to that Wi-Fi name as well. This thing also supports easy mesh. So if you wanted to get another easy mesh compatible router, you can actually get that and expand it and make a mesh network out of it. So you can have two or even three uh, routers working together to increase your Wi-Fi coverage, kind of like their Deco brands. There's some VPN options as well. If you want to set up some VPN directly on the router, set the LEDs on and off. You could set the LEDs on a timer. So there's a, there's a few more things you could play with, um, but that's pretty much the gist of it. So it's a very clean, organized app and with some uh, decent number of controls, basically. To summarize, this is a very good router considering its price. You're actually getting a lot of performance out of this thing, got pretty good range out of it. I like the fact that it has two 2.5 gigabit ports, so there is no speed loss at up to those speeds. And you can also wall mount it as well. You can also expand it in the future because it is easy mesh compatible. So for its price, it's actually a fantastic router. So let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below. Do you guys have one? Are you planning on getting one? Do you have another easy mesh router and you plan on expanding? So, and um, yeah, just let me know what you guys think. You guys like it, don't like it, planning on getting one. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, share the video, like the video. I really appreciate all the support and I'll catch you guys in the next one.